everyone, Marose Steele here of Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, speaking of fashion, I have an incredible spring haul for you all in partnership with Quince. I am very excited to present this brand to you all because it is new to me, but it is quickly becoming my go-to for quality, affordable, sustainable basics in luxury, okay? I'm absolutely loving this website. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. Okay, so first up we have this dress that I am wearing. You guys, this dress has quickly become my number one house dress. Y'all know I love a good house dress, but yes, it can be worn outside of the house. This is the Knit Ribbed Maxi Slip Dress in brown. I've always wanted a house dress in brown. It feels amazing. I wish you guys could feel how soft it is on the skin. It is a ribbed knit. I'm wearing it in a size medium and the medium fits perfectly. You can go with your normal size, but it does have quite a bit of stretch. Now, <laughs> let's get into the price. Girl, this is $49. Can you believe it? $49 and also the straps are adjustable which is great and this comes in six colors it comes in brown it comes in green it comes in a navy blue it comes in black gray a heather gray as well as camel so if you need to go ahead and stop the video and put this in your cart expeditiously um because it's amazing by the way at quince they have free shipping on all orders and also the returns are 365 days they give you a they give you a whole year okay to enjoy the quality but i'm i'm letting you know right now you're not going to return it like this dress is everything okay i am definitely going to have to get it in, in the heather gray as well as like i feel like the the navy blue would be really cute as well and the olive green ugh just a stunning dress feels amazing amazing quality it's also made out of tinsel which is a biodegradable fabric again quince is all about sustainability affordability and quality okay so let's get into the rest of the haul next up i have an incredible bag y'all are gonna love it let's get into it okay next up from quince we have a bag i had to get a bag it came in this huge dust bag this is the italian leather hand woven tote and how gorgeous is this look at the color oh this is so perfect for spring and summer and this is the cognac color and again you guys hand woven italian leather get into it this bag is huge and if you haven't noticed big bags are back it does have a flat bottom you can see the expert stitching there it has two shoulder straps which is great it almost matches my dress which is super cute i can definitely like wear this to run errands or to the grocery store on the inside it has a magnetic closure it also has a zipper pocket to store all of your things as well as two fabric pockets you can pop your phone in there maybe your keys so things don't get lost but this bag is huge like you can fit an outfit in there you can fit some shoes in there you can definitely have like a beach day and put a, a towel inside all the things you'll need to like run errands or have a day at the park at the beach this spring and like leather handbags are really trending right now especially like woven handbags and the thing is this comes in five colors five five italian leather can woven totes i mean like that's amazing i'm actually really in love with this bag <laughs> i'm probably gonna be wearing it all spring long and the price you guys 150 dollars for this 
incredible quality like you cannot beat it so i'll be sure to link this bag down below worth every single penny uh i cannot wait to like style this but yes quince the one and not the two let's get into a few more pieces okay next up i got this ultra form short jumpsuit y'all know i love a good jumpsuit like i i go run errands in these or i go for my hot girl walks in these i wish you all could feel the fabric it's definitely double lined so it's not see-through it's super stretchy yet somehow super lightweight it also has a built-in sports bra like look at that can you guys see it it has a built-in sports bra and it just looks so cool it comes in three colors i got this in a size medium it does have a good amount of stretch but the medium works well for me i'm a us size six and i'm definitely going to be wearing this to the grocery store to run errands again i do live in miami this is going to be perfect even for like working out with a pair of cute sneakers throw a little cardigan over and it's great for running errands i mean it's just so good and i love the scoop neck back i mean it really sucks you in but it's so lightweight and breathable um this comes in at 49 dollars, which is amazing i have other jumpsuits like this that i paid considerable amount more and the quality is not as good as this again comes in three colors black navy and green i believe and this goes up to a size extra large but definitely go with your normal size because it does have good stretch and again it has a built-in sports bra so you might not even need to like wear anything underneath if you're going to be working out on this and like jumping but this is going to be my new hot girl walk jumpsuit with some sneakers and she is the one now you see this fabric the fabric is so good that i also got another piece similar to this one also this has quick dry technology and also moisture wick technology and also antimicrobial technology like it's keeping you dry it's keeping you clean all day long like hello <laughs> that's amazing um so next up i got a bodysuit and i love a good bodysuit for spring and summer okay so here is the bodysuit y'all it's so good it's square neck which i love i think a square neck is so chic on a bodysuit this is the second skin square neck tank bodysuit comes in at 29 bucks i have it in the cocoa brown this is a thong bodysuit with two snaps at the bottom i love that it's a thong you guys know i'm i don't i don't like a panty line so i love that um it's so comfortable i got it in a medium again double line has great stretch great support um this goes up to an extra large and it comes in four colors black brown um tan and more of a neutral mocha color but the brown is for me you guys know i've been loving brown it's double line so it's not sheer like it's so light and it feels like nothing i guess that's why they call it like the second skin uh bodysuit but yeah for the price uh, this is amazing the quality for the price is stunning like you can wear this with a pair of trousers with a pair of denim jeans with a skirt um and again it's super light i mean i love it i love everything about it so Quince is launching their spring capsule. So make sure to quickly head to the links down below in my description box and in my pinned comment to shop all of these super affordable pieces uh, before they're gone. Okay, I have, two, no, I have three more pieces to show you all from Quince. Uh, we will go into some more dresses. I have two more dresses. Okay, first we have this silk slip dress. You guys, if you watch my spring trends video, one of the biggest trends of 2024 is silk and satin dresses. This one is gorgeous. You guys know I love a brown. Uh, this is called Hot Fudge. It is a midi silk dress. It does have a little bit of stretch, which I like. Um, and the straps 
are also adjustable, which is wonderful. This silk dress comes in at $79. 100% silk, you guys. 100% washable silk. And also, this dress comes in 14 colors. 14 colors, and it also goes up to an extra large. And I think it's just so chic. You can wear it around the house to feel like that girl. You guys know I always wear a house dress around the house. Um, or you can wear it out. You can uh, dress it up with a nice pair of heels and a cute like sweater or a cardigan. And it's like, it's very elegant, but also sexy, but also comfortable. Um, so I actually styled this with another piece from Quince. And that is this. This 100% cotton um, oversized boyfriend cardigan. And this is a thicker knit, which is great. I feel like this is a really good transition piece from winter into spring, especially if you're currently living like in the Northeast, like in New York, um, where it's still cold, even though it's spring, but you still wanna get off your spring dresses. This is heavy enough that it's going to keep you warm. Look at the quality. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and thick and heavy and weighty. Um, this I got it in a size medium and the medium fits great. This is the size black. It does come in four colors and it does have these, these beautiful tortoise buttons that I'm just living for. I love the design element. So this comes in a beautiful like sage green. It comes in cream. It comes in black and then it comes in like a speckled oatmeal. And I think this is just like the perfect transition piece from fall to spring for those cooler nights. And I think it looks so good paired on top of this silk dress. Ugh, just gorgeous. Again, this does have a little bit of stretch, but I would suggest going with your normal size. I went with a medium in the dress as well as in the cardigan. Um, but I loved the brown dress so much that I also had to get it in another color. So I got it in black. I mean, there's nothing chicer than a black silk dress. This dress is gorgeous. Again, it's the same as the, the hot fudge brown dress. Um, it has adjustable straps, which is great. Like I need dresses that I, I, that I can conform to my body. Um, it's exactly the same as the brown, except for it's black. Again, this dress comes in a ton of colors, every color you can imagine. And the price is so good for 100% washable silk. It's so light, airy, floaty, chic, with a tiny bit of stretch, and it just skims your body in all the right places. I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, so those are all of my new M pieces from Quince, I mean, the prices are amazing. Oh wait, I don't think I told you the price of the cardigan. So the cardigan comes in at $59. For like this hefty, I mean, it's, it's this is quality. <laughs> For $59 is incredible. Okay, so those are all of my new end pieces from Quince. I mean, you can have, luxury is accessible. Luxury is about quality. And the quality of these pieces cannot be beat. And the prices are amazing. And of course they are sustainable, which makes it even better. So I've linked all of these pieces down below if you're looking for some great transitional winter to spring pieces as well as layering pieces. I've linked all of these as well as a few more of my favorites from Quince. So special thanks to Quince for sponsoring this portion of the video and head on down to the links in my description box and in my pinned comment to shop these pieces. All right, you guys, we have a lot going on today. I think I'm gonna show you a few new in um, like beauty products. And we are also heading to dinner tonight with a friend and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So let's get into the day.
I cleaned off my face because I wanted to do a little bit of blue light. I've been having a little breakout because it's my special time of the month. Um, and the blue light helps with killing bacteria. So I did that for about 15 minutes. By the way, that Skin Gym uh, LED mask, I got that from JCPenney. One of the best purchases. I usually use the blue light to cut down on like bacteria on my face when I feel like I'm having a breakout. But yeah, and then I just put on two, you can barely see them, two pimple patches from Sephora. I absolutely love these pimple patches. I swear by them. I don't pop my pimples anymore. I literally just put this patch on for a day and the pimple pops itself. It has aloe in it, it has um, salicylic acid in it. These things are amazing and they blend in pretty well with the skin. So yeah, I made myself a little lunch. I have been obsessed with fruit, granola, and honey bowls. I, I'm not really like a, a yogurt type of girl. You guys know I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, so yogurt is like not for me, but I love a good fruit bowl with a little drizzle of honey. And I usually use the kind um, brand like oats, granola. It's so good. I'm obsessed. I have to have a bowl every day now. I usually put like bananas in it, um, a little honeydew or a cantaloupe, a little bit of kiwi, maybe some mango, uh, a little drizzle of honey and that kind granola. And it's just so like delicious. Um, I'm really cutting back on sugar, especially processed sugar, anything that comes in like a bag or a box. I try and stay away from but yeah face is looking good after my blue light treatment I think I'm gonna go makeup free for the rest of the day and I'm just loving I'm loving this dress from Quince I feel like I want to get it in a few more colors it just feels so comfortable and like soft on my skin and the price is so good so again I will link this down below um, I spent the rest of the morning doing a little bit of work I have a few campaigns coming up for April, so I'm very excited for those. Although it's been kind of slow. Like, I've been taking notes that it's getting a little harder to be a creator, especially like a full-time creator if you're solely on like an app. Like if you're only on TikTok or you're only on Instagram and you have kind of based your whole career of like brand campaigns that's a really scary thing to do i would always say spread yourself out amongst different income streams i actually wrote about this like five years ago on my blog if i can find the blog post i'll link it down below but about diversi diversifying your portfolio so all your eggs are not in one basket because to be a successful full-time content creator, you can't just be on one thing. You have to be different places and making money from different places. Again, most millionaires have seven streams of, of income. Seven. <laughs> seven. I think five years ago I had six. So it's kind of imperative to like not put all your eggs in one basket. I, I really feel for this like new generation of content creators because it just it's so easy to blow up so quick especially on platforms like TikTok or you know you're posting outfit reels every day on Instagram you blow up you have 300,000 followers you think oh I'm gonna quit my job and this is gonna be it but it's like more than the followers you have to have an engaged audience that's actually gonna watch your videos support any kind of collabs that you do actually value your opinion so that they will buy the things you re recommend actually use your links um, and i think people want to bypass that step of actually building a community and as soon as they get the numbers they want the money and it's just like that's not how content creation works as a full-time job and i just i feel for anybody going through a hard time because the the first quarter is always slow january february march is always slow for most creators that's the time when brands don't really know what they're doing with with their budget for the year things are up in the air um 
And so if you're counting on things to come through during the, those months and nothing does, you have to have something else to fall back on. That's actually why I love YouTube so much. It's because I don't have to depend on a brand for a check. Um, as long as I'm doing my work, which is filming for you guys, making sure I'm putting out two videos a week, I'm going to be paid in AdSense for the videos and for that work that I'm doing for myself. And I don't have to depend on like a brand. Um, so yeah, I know it's like a hard time for everybody. And I just hope things get better. Like that's all I can like hope for. And that's all I can pray for, for <laughs> the world. Um, speaking of which, today is the eclipse. It's actually happening right now in Miami. We're not getting... Uh, the full eclipse just like little bits and pieces I think it started at like one something and it's gonna end at like four ish that we will have little bits and pieces but nothing's really happening here and I'm not going outside to look at the sky I look at the sky every day <laughs> anywho that's just me on my little soapbox spreading some knowledge to you all I think what I really want to do is go get some flowers. It's Monday though, and I feel like Trader Joe's is usually rammed on Sundays, so I feel like there's nothing left. And I think they restock the flowers on Tuesday, but we're gonna try our hand today because I feel like everybody's outside right now. So I'm gonna put on the super cute, like onesie body bodysuit from quince the black one that i showed you guys i feel like it's so good at like to run errands in and then i might actually go on a bike ride in the same outfit because it's so comfortable uh so we're gonna go to trader joe's um and we're gonna go to this other grocery store that i love because i want some nuts <laughs> i want some those little spicy nuts with like all different kinds of things in it like there's this grocery store that sells it and I'm addicted. It's very similar to what they used to sell at Trader Joe's. They had this like spicy trail mix that they, that's only seasonal. Like why would trail mix be seasonal? I'm so upset that Trader Joe's took this off their shelves. I don't know what to do with myself. Like I'm about to write the president of Trader Joe's and be like, yo, can you bring this back? Like I need this spicy trail mix. Anywho. Yeah, you know you're getting old when you're just rambling about fucking trail mix. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time today. I put on my playlist. I haven't listened to this playlist in forever. I have an Afro Soka, like Caribbean playlist of like all the best music <laughs> that I love from like my Soka, and all my afro afro beats so if you're interested i will link it down below i think it's still available on soundcloud this is when i used to do my morning dances if you've been following me for a while especially on instagram every morning i used to make my espresso and i would just like dance and whine <laughs> to a new song on on camera for instagram stories like i had to stop doing that because it was getting a little much with the brands watching your girl watching me shake my not even shake it but you know just a little a little way it was it was too much for them so i had to stop doing that on stories but maybe i'll bust out a wild for y'all every now and then on youtube so that it can live forever and be screenshot and posted everywhere maybe not we'll see <laughs> all right you guys i have chatted way too much but so far today has been great. We're gonna head to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna show you my outfit. Ooh, I think I'm gonna wear my new Nikes too with my uh, my romper. Ooh, that is gonna look so cute. My little hot girl outfit for the day to run errands. And then when we get back, I'm gonna show you some new in beauty products. Uh, I have some new in things from Desi Skin. I don't know how I got on the PR list, but thank you Desi girl. I'm excited. I got some things in from uh taraji a uh, hair care brand i have some makeup forever and a little coddly so let's go change let's go get ready i'll show you the look and then we'll head out to run some errands <sighs> all right guys we are going to where did i put this set oh here it is we're gonna wear this set from quince 
today to like run errands. It's so cute. And I also love that it does have a built-in sports bra. And then I might do a bike ride later on in this because I will look super cute in this <laughs> for a bike ride. So let's get dressed. Let's head out. All right, the set is on. It looks so cute. It's so comfortable and soft. I'm gonna put on some of this um, L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream. I've been loving this. They sent it over in a PR gift and it's like super moisturizing and I love the way it smells. So I have like, oh, why are you guys so dark? Okay, so I have like three favorite body creams at the moment. The first one is this one from L'Occitane. It is the dry and sensitive skin ultra rich body cream and i just i mean look oh it's super hydrating and moisturizing and it just smells like how you should smell when you are straight like out of the shower it's very clean very light but super moisturizing so that's the first one the second one is from youth to the people. I rave about this. This is the Dream Body Butter. This is so good. It smells like, almost like mangoes. It has green tea. That's what it smells like, green tea. It has blonde woods. Um, it also has niacinamide to brighten skin, firm skin. And this is also a, vegan and this definitely does give you a beautiful shine and it smells good i feel like for summer like a nice summer scent this one it gives you that really beautiful glow and so i feel like that's the one that i'm gonna wear most like in the summer for yacht days memorial day weekend juneteenth in new york city you want your skin to be on fleek that's what you wear and then of course, we have our Kiehl's Cream de Court, which is not really a body cream, it's more of a lotion. Let me show you that one. So Kiehl's, this is my favorite lotion that's an actual lotion. This is not a body cream. There is no scent, but this will give you super hydrated, shining, glistening legs and arms without them being like slippery and greasy and getting all on your clothes and everything. So that's a lotion. But the third actual body cream is from Koba. Uh, this is a black owned business. And this is their Get Whipped Body Balm and it's formulated with safu oil. And this one has a very super light fragrance but it's so rich and creamy and just gives you a gorgeous glow. So top three actual body creams, Koba, Used to the People and Lots of Tan. So these three get off the ash. They are amazing products and I think you all would love them. So check out any of these three. I will link them all below. All right, so shoe of the day. We're gonna go with these Nike Waffle Knit sneakers. I love these. They have suede here, they have um, nylon here and they're just really comfortable and i love how old school they look with that orange check so we're just going to do like a black and white look today i do have socks but i don't feel like i need to wear them so we'll do these sneakers today and i love them with this outfit i think i'm gonna pop on my headphones from apple Someone that asked me to do a review on those, so maybe I'll do that as well. Today's fragrance, we're gonna go with Bald Ass Freak from Byredo, one of my favorite all time scents. This is maybe the fifth or sixth bottle I've ever bought for myself, and it just smells so good. By the way, remember I told y'all there's always somebody cute at Trader Joe's, so 
I try to make a little bit of an effort. <laughs> now, even though like my hair is super wild, we're just gonna let it do what it do today. I'm probably gonna end up popping it up into like a puff for dinner tonight. I think we're going to like a Korean barbecue. We'll see. I'll have to give you more details on that once we get back. Okay, let me show you the full look and then let's go run some errands. Okay, so here's the look. Wearing my bodysuit from Quince. I'm wearing it in a medium. It feels great. Can always throw like a little cardigan or a jacket over top if this is like too revealing for you, but I love it. <laughs> and then the shoes are new in from Nike. I'll be sure to link these and a few others that are my favorite from Nike right now. Um, I'm gonna pop on some sunglasses as well because it's quite bright out. I think we're gonna go with these from And Other Stories. They're one of my favorite pair of sunglasses and probably my most worn in my collection. All right, so this is the vibe. Let's go. I didn't get too much nobody really had like flowers just like I predicted I might have to go again like tomorrow or Wednesday and excuse me if I have the urge to just go bow 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 like <laughs> that song by sexy red is stuck in my head and I've just been going bow 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 in my head like all day so there's that if you want to be in my brain but let me show you what I got. I went to the first grocery store where I get my snack mix or trail mix and they did have just one thing of like white tulips and they're all kind of messed up, I noticed. So these are probably only last like a day or two, but I'll pop them in some water and put them in my um, Anissa Kermichi vase here. It's one of my favorites. Um. I'll link it down below if anybody is interested. And then I of course got my snack mix. This is the Sweet Heat snack mix. And it has all kinds of stuff in it. I think it has peanuts, uh, like little pecans, hot and spicy sesame sticks, and a bunch of other stuff. But it's like so good. This is like my guilty like snack. And then I did get a poppy. Is that is that what it's called? A poppy drink. I've seen a lot of girlies drink this. I'm not a soda person. I don't drink soda. I think soda is the most horrible thing for you. Um, so I try not to drink it. I really, I never buy soda for my home. I might drink one if I'm out and that's all they have. Um, and I don't really like carbonated water either, like sparkling water. I don't like the taste of sparkling water. I would rather just drink water if I'm gonna have to drink some kind of water. Um, but I've seen the girls drink this and they seem to enjoy it. Uh, it says it's infused with apple cider vinegar, which is cool. It's a prebiotic for your gut, which is also pretty cool. 
Um, it only has four grams of sugar, which is not bad at all. Only 25 calories. So yeah, it has sparkling water in it, which I just said I don't like. <laughs> organic cane sugar, organic apple cider vinegar, natural flavors, organic agave insulin. You guys know I love agave. Lemon juice, strawberry juice, and stevia concentrate, which is, which is I think, um, a sugar. So let's give it a try. This is the first poppy I've ever drank and it is the strawberry lemon one they had a few they had an orange one and then they had some other kind of one but this is the first one i gravitated towards and we'll try it together Ooh. oh it's good it's not bad it's not bad at all it's not too fizzy it is sweet though and you can tell that like the sweetener is like a fake sweetener not like sugar but not bad it's pretty good if you're like trying to maybe wean yourself off of soda this is probably a better like way to go I'll finish it but I probably won't buy it again because it does give me like uh, a soda juice type of feel and I don't like that so but it's refreshing it's good um i also went to trader joe's to look for more flowers but they didn't have any but i have been craving vodka pasta even though i'm going out <laughs> i'm going out to eat tonight i've been craving vodka pasta so i bought some like vodka sauces from trader joe's this one is the organic vodka sauce from trader joe's um it's the trader joe's or trader giotto's brand and I feel like it's pretty good. Like there's only seven grams of sugar. There's two grams of protein. It's only 80 calories um, per half cup. The sodium is kind of nuts. It's 540 milligrams, but I mean, that's the whole jar. So we'll see. But then I also got this Rosatella pasta sauce. Um, and this is the Trader Joe's brand. And this has, it was made with cream italian tomatoes uh grana padano and grana padano cheese and i feel like this is more closer to like what i'm looking for for a vodka sauce but it does have milk in it so i'm wondering if this is gonna like really mess up with my stomach and this little jar has 640 milligrams of salt so i'll be cutting both of these with water but i feel like this one is gonna taste so good and then I just got some pasta, one bag of pasta. So I'll probably cook this tomorrow since I'm going out to eat tonight. My, um, my friend and I are meeting up for dinner and it should be really fun. Like, let me get the details so I can tell you guys where we're going this evening. Okay, so we're going to Orilla Bar and Grill it's i think it's a new restaurant it's an argentinian steakhouse in miami um so yeah they invited me and a friend to come for dinner which sounds great it's been so long since i've like been to a steakhouse but they're gonna give us two starters two main entrees uh two side dishes and dessert and then like drink so it should be really fun like I'm excited it's been a minute since I've well not not really I was just at <laughs> I was gonna say it's been a minute since I've done a dine but I've been going to sexy fish a lot during the day but I've it's been a minute since I've done a dine at night at like a newer restaurant so I'll definitely take you guys I've heard really like amazing things about this place and I've been craving meat I don't eat a lot of meat and I've been craving steak um, probably because I've been doing a lot of biking and a lot of working out and I'm not getting enough protein. So I'm looking forward to a delicious steak dinner tonight. And also catching up with my friend, my, my old neighbor. Uh, so yeah, I am going to put these things away and then we can head upstairs. I'm going to go through some new and beauty products and then I'll check in with you guys when I'm getting ready to go to dinner tonight. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, my bad, y'all. 
I got caught up scrolling on the ground. Um, and the more I'm drinking this poppy, the more it tastes delicious. Still not buying it though. Okay, first up, let's get into this beauty and makeup haul. We're gonna start with a little something from Desi. Y'all know Desi. Uh, I know she had sunglasses and now she has skincare and it is called Desi Skin. Um, and so they, the team sent over their mask or mask on overnight moisture mask. Uh, and let me show you the packaging. It's very like clean, aesthetic vibe. You can see Desi embossed there. Um, this is an overnight mask not only delivers intense hydration, but also makes skin appear firmer, tighter with AHAs and my, micro, micro algae. Um, the algae nourishes the skin with essential amino acids, vitamin C, vitamin B12, and three molecular weights of hyaluronic acid target different layers of the skin to bring moisture beyond just the surface level. Uh, amazing. Apply generous layer to clean face, neck, wear overnight in the morning, rinse face with warm water, Feel the hydration layer melt off, leaving behind a soft, supple, glowing skin. This is cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. Amazing. You know what? Maybe I'll use this tonight. I don't feel like I need a lot of moisture, but let's take a look. Ooh. I do really love the packaging. Y'all know I'm a sucker for great aesthetic packaging. So this is a pump and I feel like, let's, let's give it a, a whirl. Okay, so can you guys see it? It's a cream, very light weight cream. Feels a little cold straight out of the bottle. Let's rub it in. It's almost like a glaze. It has, barely a smell at all which is great because especially i'm super sensitive to scents there's no smell there's like barely any smell and just putting it on my hand my hand feels super moisturized Ooh, and so soft like i can only imagine having this on all night and then washing it off and your face just being super supple and plump all righty so this is supposed to calm, hydrate, tighten, and plump. Yeah. It has five different botanical fruits to provide gentle chemical exfoliation without irritating the skin and while promoting skin radiance. All right, shout out to Desi. I'll be sure to link this down below if any of you wanna try it out. I might try this out tonight and see how it works out. Okay, next up, we have a little something from TPH by Taraji, Taraji P. Henson. We write our own story. They sent over a little gift. Um, yeah, enjoy and indulge in self-care with a few gifts to help nurture your narrative. Love, Taraji. So, I think we have her hair care line in here. Let's see. Oh, she looks so beautiful there. My God, Taraji. Um, so yes, we have her Serene Queen, Serene Queen a Daily Gentle Shampoo with Lather for purifying, reviving, and refreshing for straight and wavy hair. We have the Make It Rain Hydration Rich Conditioner. I actually really do love this conditioner. If I don't use, normally I use, um, what do I use? Why can't I think of the, the name? Avita. If I don't use Avita, then I use this for extra hydration. We also have the Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. This is so good if you're like gonna do a twist out. Like before, like right after you shampoo and condition, um, you could put this as your leave-in conditioner. Detangle your hair before you like put on your cream and two strand twist. This is amazing. This is called Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. I forgot how this smells, but I feel like I remember it 
smelling really good it comes out it's a spray comes out as a little cream yeah it smells so good it's a very light fresh scent it'll leave your hair just smelling amazing um and then we also have the hot commodity um hard working heat protectant now this is great that she sent this because i've never actually tried her heat protectant before and as you can see i'm wearing my hair stretched i usually use briogeo um frizz free cr um cream for heat protectant before i straighten my hair with my knot doctor but maybe i'll try this the next time and see if this works better because this is a shield and it softens and then it prevents damage and i want to smell this as well i'm sorry y'all know i'm a tourist so i have to smell everything comes out as a white cream oh this smells good it smells almost exactly like <laughs> the ride or die condition leave-in conditioner but this is vegan cruelty free uh paraben free which is great um phthalate free it has shea butter argon oils protein very very cool i'm gonna try this the next time i do my hair and see if this works better than my normal go-to and we also have the slick edge control treatment i think all of these products are vegan and cruelty free and then we have the dry oil mist Ooh. Ooh, that really came out i just sprayed my part with it <laughs> Ooh, it smells good it has safflower oil and camelina seed oil again silicone free paraben free cruelty free and vegan shout out to taraji for sending this I'll link all of these products down below if any of you are interested in checking them out. All right, let's get into the next couple of beauty things. This is from Makeup Forever, which I think I just went through my updated makeup routine in a previous vlog, and I've started using their blush, which I'm really loving. And so they sent this over. How cute is this little pouch, this little makeup pouch. And inside we have a palette. This is the HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. It's available in two colorways at Sephora, Sephora at Kohl's, as well as Makeup Forever. I love the packaging of this. How cool is this packaging? So there's a little top and bottom there and then there's a pop button and you open and you have a palette of neutrals on one side and kind of like beautiful mauve pinks and such on the other side. How gorge. So like, what is this for? You can use this for anything. Oh yes, this. so this is a face and cheek palette. So you can use it as blush you can use it on your lips you can use it on your eyes like how stunning i love it this is the harmony 3 palette and if i can find it i'll be sure to link it down below for y'all but it's all cream based Ooh, how look how pigmented that's why i love makeup forever products because they are so pigmented this would be beautiful on the lips as well as on the cheeks. I am not a huge cream blush girl, but this would probably look great on the eyelids. Let's try this brown. Ooh, this brown is a deep brown. <laughs> Let's try it. That's beautiful. You could probably contour with that. Can contour with this deep brown. Can probably highlight or conceal with one of these lighter browns this is such a good palette you really can use this for a lot for contouring for concealing for blush for lip incredible 
Shout out to Makeup Forever for sending this HD Skin Face Essentials palette. Available at Sephora, Sephora at Kohl's, as well as Makeup Forever. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys at Sephora. There's some other things in here as well. They sent some cute little stickers, which is fun. And then they also sent a brush. Look at this. This is the Makeup Forever uh, foundation brush. Comes in a little pack. How cute cool is this little pack like this is great because usually when I use foundation brushes I just like stuff them in with other things and it ends up getting foundation all over everything that's in there with the brush so now I could just pack this and this is the straight 118 makeup forever professional foundation brush and I love that wooden end and the tip how cool is this brush Ooh so soft I want to love this <laughs> I love a good foundation brush and I go through them a lot because I don't I feel like when I clean my brushes they never get as clean as I want them to get and so I just end up buying new ones and that's how I keep <laughs> the bacteria out of my skin because I'll probably wash brushes once and then it's just like after that one wash and I use it again, I can't just wash it again. Like the brushes are just never quite the same. And I haven't tried to like put them in one of those little bags and wash them like in the washing machine. Um, so I don't know. I just end up buying new brushes. It's probably not good for the planet, but that's the only way I found to keep the bacteria out of my brushes. I just, I only wash them once after using them for a few weeks. And then after that time, once I've used it about a month more, I just don't use it again because I feel like it just can't get clean. And people were asking me, what do I clean my makeup brushes with? I use the same stuff that I use on my face. So I use a cleanser to cleanse my makeup brushes. And I usually triple cleanse with three different cleansers the same way I do my face. So I'll use an oil-based cleanser, usually Chanel. And then I'll use a cream based cleanser, usually Dior off and on. And then I'll use like, I'll end with like a natural cleanser, which is the kale and spinach cleanser from youth to the people. Um, and then I just let them dry out in the sun. So that's how I clean my makeup brushes. But honestly, I just end up buying new ones or I'll just wait for brands <laughs> to send me brushes because I just feel like they can never be clean enough. And I'm kind of OCD about like germs and things. So that is what I got in from Makeup Forever. Okay, and last but not least, my friends over at Caudalie sent over some products. They sent over their Vino Perfect Serum, which brightens all dark spots, whether that's sunspots, acne, pregnancy spots, or age spots. Um, it's great for all skin types, even the most sensitive, um, and for all skin tones, as well as during pregnancy and breastfeeding, which is incredible. So they sent the Vino Perfect Brightening Dark Spot Serum and the eye cream. Ooh, I haven't actually tried the eye cream before, the brightening eye cream. Oh wait, have I? No, I haven't. So this is the eye cream. You guys already know I love Caudalie products like the grape water is my favorite. I also love their foaming cleanser and I mean there's just so many good things. Everybody loves this serum. I don't use it too much but maybe I should try because I do have quite a few little bits of hyperpigmentation so maybe we will try that out see how it works and report back. So shout out to Caudalie, to Taraji, and also to Desi Skin for sending over those products. I have linked them all down below for you all. So I'm going to chill for a few hours and I will check back in when I'm getting ready to head to dinner tonight. And of course, I will take you all with me. So see you soon. All right, guys. So it's a little bit later in the day. Finished up some work. I actually popped my hair up into a little poof and I sprayed it to kind of diffuse the curls and I'm loving it. I think tomorrow I will probably wash my hair. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the look for tonight. 
Uh, for the lip, I went with Fenty HBIC. I have on these super old Carolina Herrera earrings. They don't make these anymore. The dress is new in from the Attico. I would have showed you this dress in a previous things I'm very excited to wear for spring 2024 video. If you haven't checked that out, go back and watch it. I believe it went live before this video. And then I paired it with my Loewe sandals. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys the entire full look. But the bag for tonight is Maison Detta, which is a black owned business. You guys know I love this bag. I discovered this bag at Flying Solo Store in New York City. It's a great store. They have two locations in Soho where you can discover up and coming brands. And she's gorgeous. The brand actually gifted this, gifted this to me after I featured it in a YouTube video. So this is going to be the bag for tonight. I cannot wait to eat. I'm starving and I really want some steak. So I hope this restaurant is good. Of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm meeting up with a good friend of mine. He used to be my neighbor. And we are going to kiki it up. He's actually the one who put me in touch with who does the PR for this restaurant. So yeah, looking forward to an incredible dinner tonight. Let me show you guys the full look and then we're out of here. I'm heading to dinner at a steakhouse and this is my outfit for the evening. I'm wearing this dress from the Attico. It's like a satin dress. I love how long the sleeves are, the little polka dots and the shape of the skirt. I paired it with these Loewe balloon sandals, one of my favorite pair in my entire shoe collection. The bag is from Maison Detta. It's so cool. I love the shape. The earrings are super old from Carolina Herrera. The lip is Fenty HBIC. Tonight's fragrance is Byredo Wild Afrique. And that is the look for dinner. guys we made it to Oria it is an Argentinian steakhouse and it's super cute it's on 5th Street in uh, Miami South Beach if I would have known this place was this close and so cute I would have come so much sooner but I'm just doing a quick bathroom break we're gonna head back I ordered some Argentinian wine uh, a Cabernet um, and we're gonna get started with dinner so let's do it dinner at Oria. It was very good. It's an Argentinian steakhouse. I enjoyed it. The ambiance was really nice. I feel like the food could have been a little bit better. I really did enjoy the at the starters which were the Oria salad and the tuna tartare was very delicious. I also love the potatoes. The duck was pretty good but dessert was definitely the icing on the cake. Uh, there was like some kind of flambe. It was really, really good. Um, and the company of course was good and the ambiance was great. So if you're looking for a place in South Beach, I would definitely put that on the list if you want like a vibey 
kind of date night kind of spot. But yeah, the wine was amazing. I think the wine I had was an Argentinian wine, a, Caber a Cabernet, delicious. So yeah, that is it for this vlog. Your girl is tired, okay? I ended up changing my earrings to, to these Tiffany Link earrings. Um, I am going to go ahead and take this dress off, take this makeup off, take a shower, put on my PJs, get in the bed, and go to sleep. I cannot wait. Oh, I'm so <laughs> tired. Um, but I am, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't leave without giving your girl a thumbs up. It helps me out. Also, special thanks to Quince for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Um, everything I showed you in the haul, including that incredible like cocoa brown like house dress is linked down below the prices are insane they're so good and uh, they're dropping all of their spring um offerings so make sure to head down to the description box i've linked all of the pieces as well as other pieces that i think you all will enjoy for transitioning from uh, winter into spring all right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.